This is Twit. Anthony Lipke t- uh, tweeted, he said, to, at SGGRC, he said, I remain a fan of Newgrounds, a flash site. And Leo, you ought to put in www.newgrounds.com. Oh, dare I? Just, just to see what it looks I've been like. Calls I mean, it looks like, like this all month from people who say, "Oh no, my favorite site's on Flash." Yeah, this looks like the revenge of anime and you know, uh, eight eight bit pixel stuff. Anyway, he says, uh, Anthony says. I haven't seen something take the, that place for games and animation. That said, they're part of great efforts to preserve the content. You're likely already aware, but it seems worth mentioning besides just saying Flash is dead. And, <coughs> you know, uh, I am sympathetic. I mean, th- th- uh, holding on, pr- you know, preserving Internet history and culture is, is kind of cool. Uh, one could argue that the GRC.com website is inherently <laughs> presuming, is, uh, yeah, <laughs> inherently preserving internet uh, history. Uh, because, yes, a lot of my graphics are blocky, like uh, 8 bits. Um, well, you should, I should, I did, he, he'll get on to his thing, but the yeah. Internet Archive has done a they ha, there's a flash emulator and they've done a great job cuz oh, that's their good. job of preserving good. some of the stupidest flash sites you have ever seen but it's part of our you know peanut butter jelly time is part of our culture so i agree with you 100% but yep. the way to do this is not to keep sites like that alive or to try to somehow save flash by no means let's let time move on but, I, but acknowledge that these were important in their day. Yeah, I completely agree. Right, right. So I, I did a little bit of digging around, and I discovered, because there is a concern out on the Internet, like, okay, uh, I, I you know, we need to still have Flash running. No, So no, what can don't. you do? No, we don't. Well, Stop it. Well, certainly <laughs> not in our browsers. The, it was the browser, it was the embedded Flash player I mean, but Leo, I also agree with you. I mean, it's like, yes, <laughs> no, we have HTTP. No. We have HTTP. Yeah, you don't need we Amiga HT, DOS. HTML5. You don't need it. You know, this stuff's over. We don't need it anymore. Yes. For those who are willing, who are unwilling to move on, uh, you can still get a standalone Adobe Flash Player, uh, known as if you Google Flash Player Projector Content Debugger. Uh, I got the link to it in the show notes. It is available standalone, does not run in a browser, for Windows, Mac, and Linux being published by Adobe. Uh, My guess is you probably ought to get it soon because maybe Adobe, when they sunset Flash, like, you know, maybe in two days uh, (laughs) on January 1st, this may go away. But it's there now. Um, And then the other thing is there's something called Blue Maxima. Dot org, um, and they call themselves. Uh, they, they have the they, the Flashpoint Web Game Preservation Project, and and they said internet history and culture is important, and content made on web platforms, including but not limited to Adobe Flash, make up a significant portion of that culture. Okay, well. I guess that's that's debatable. They said this project is dedicated to preserving as many experiences from these platforms as possible so that they aren't lost to time. Since early 2018, Flashpoint has saved more than 70,000 games and 8000 animations running on 20 different platforms. Flashpoint was started in January 2018 by Blue Maxima in an attempt to outrun the disappearance of content prior to the death of Flash. It has since evolved into an international project involving over 100 community contributors encompassing both web games and animations created for numerous internet plugins, frameworks, and standards. So, bluemaxima.org slash flashpoint. Yeah, this is an emulator. It's kind of like a Nintendo emulator or something like that. Yep. That's fine. Yep. So I just wanted to give Anthony his due and to say yes, I you know we 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 do acknowledge that you know there is valuable 
historical culture uh, and blocky gra- <laughs> blocky 8-bit graphics. So you can still be there if you want to. There's also a, a WebSM flash emulator, and there's one written in Rust called Ruffle. Uh, there, you know, people are. This isn't going to go away. Emulating Flash is easy, well, relatively. Um, but please, let's not try to save these sites online. No. <laughs> let's get rid no. of them now.